There's one problem. Even the most frameless Android smartphones have a chin at the bottom of the screen. Many people hate it. Some don't, but the fact remains that the little perfectionist inside us all is annoyed. So why is it that the frame is thin everywhere else but the bottom? You're watching Droider, and today we'll find out where Android smartphones get their chin from. Buckle up, I'm prepared a little investigation for us. Let's go. In general, the most irritating thing about this is that the chin is problematic not so much for hiding those few cherished millimeters of screen, but because the whole thing just ends up looking asymmetrical. The line is thin on the top and thick on the bottom, and this makes it a little awkward. Well, why is that? Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePlus, you name your favorite brand, why do they achieve thinness everywhere else but the bottom? There are several different theories floating around online about this. For example, you need a place for a Type-C connector or for the headphone jack or for the speaker, but all this is wrong because all these elements could be positioned deeper than the screen. The reason is different, and here it is. Each display is connected to a control, which in turn, is connected to the motherboard and tells the display, in fact, what to output to the pixels. This controller needs to be connected to the display somehow, and most manufacturers do it at the bottom. This takes up extra space. This all seems simple enough. The answer is clear, and there's not really much you can do about it. But here we have to say, stop, stop. There's also the iPhone X and XS that don't have a chin. How do they manage this? Sure, but they have big bangs at the top of the screen, and it has absolutely nothing to do with it. Just kidding, the matter is different. And here we get to the interesting bit, because because there has been an explanation for this on the internet for some time, but it seems to me that it is not entirely correct. Here, of course, we must point out that many Android manufacturers, for example, the OnePlus 7 Pro, has a lower frame almost as thin as the iPhone. And, in general, the iPhone is a bit tricky, because, for symmetry, Apple makes frames from other sides of the same thickness. But all the same, iPhone still surpasses everyone in their anti-chin rating. So, the popular explanation about the iPhone X and XS looks like this. It was a year and a half ago after the release of the iPhone X, some publications and bloggers noticed it. In general, it goes like this. Apple, of course, did not reinvent the laws of physics. They also need to connect a display somewhere, but they are so smart that they found a way of bending the bottom edge of the OLED screen and attaching the connector to it from the reverse side. The problem solved, as shown in this beautiful 3D graphics from the official iPhone X promo. And this is a cool version, and the picture is beautiful, but as I managed to find out, in reality, most likely the situation's a little different. After watching dozens of videos analyzing iPhones and other devices, I found this. At the bottom of the iPhone display, something's bent, but it doesn't seem to be the OLED panel. In general, to be honest, I'm not sure that it can be bent with such a tiny radius of curvature of a tenth of a millimeter, but I'm not a specialist, of course. So apparently, starting with the iPhone X model, a new generation mount is used on the display, the so-called film mount, or COF, where F stands for film. Instead of mounting on the glass the COG, G stands for glass, that previous models of iPhones had as well as Android smartphones. That is, it's not the screen itself that bends at the bottom, but the film attached to it, on which in turn, the necessary microcircuits and conductors are applied. And they do connect to the controller from the back of the display. In general, something's bent something is connected from the back of the display. And if that's the case, it turns out that Apple was a bit dishonest in its official promo video. Although personally, it doesn't seem to me that this is the fundamental point because, well, what difference does it make? The main thing for the user is that the frame is thin and that's it. And at this moment, you can already like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell. But another question arises, why in fact doesn't everyone else just copy the iPhone? And here, there are also a number of crazy explanations on the internet, such as, this would make a smartphone thicker, or such production would be more expensive. Yeah, we finally found an explanation for why iPhones are expensive. It's simply that Apple cares more about our sense of beauty. Yeah, of course, and in fact, the explanation seems to be even simpler. Patents. A simple Google search brings us to this page. This is from May of 2017, four months before the presentation of iPhone X. And this just describes a patent with a display located on a flexible surface, which, just the same, can be bent at the edges to connect the controller and the motherboard. Bam! Mystery solved! To sum up, the chin is a technical necessity. Apple figured out a way around this, but it seems that they had it patented before other companies came up with the same idea. And apparently, until Android manufacturers come up with an alternative, or until some new patent deal happens, we will be left with these Android flagships. Super frameless, super beautiful, but with a hell of a chin at the bottom. Comment and click the like button if you want similar videos. This is Droider. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. Click on the bell and don't let notifications keep you from missing all the most important stuff on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.